Hi, this is your host, Sapna Bhartia, and welcome to TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us for the first time, Natalia Kesi, Senior Marketing Program Manager at Sios Technology. Natalia, it's great to have you on the show. Nice to be here. Thank you, Swap. Yeah, and today we are going to talk about uh, the upcoming event, Cloud Availability Symposium 2023 Disaster Recovery Mastery. Uh, last year, also you folks uh, hosted an event. We talked about that. So talk a bit about what is go going to be the focus of this year's event and when it is going to be organized. The SIOS Cloud Availability Symposium is an annual event that focuses on providing attendees with the knowledge and skills needed to build and manage highly available disaster resilient applications and infrastructures. Uh, this year's theme is Disaster Recovery Mastery. Since we are talking about cloud ability, when we look at cloud, sometimes a lot of folks assume, you know, that cloud is a magic plate. When you move to the cloud, all the problems are magically disappear. Yes public cloud does, you know, take care of a lot of stuff, but users are still left with taking care of a lot of things for their, you know, workloads. So talk a bit about when we talk about disaster recovery and we're talking about mastery in the cloud. So how much you still feel that users have to care about disaster recovery, even if they have moved their workloads to the cloud? I think there is a, a knowledge gap. I think that uh, the cloud does provide a lot of benefits and users and organizations may not be aware that there is a gap um, that clouds don't cover in terms of availability. Um, you also have to worry about when a cloud goes down. So you're not completely covered in the cloud um, and it can get costly when clouds do go down if you don't have the, the correct disaster recovery strategies and plans in place. So it is an ongoing um, strategy that you should have in place, um, constant education of your IT teams to know what should happen um, during a failure or during a disaster and lots of testing to ensure that, you know, as technology evolves, um, all of your disaster recovery plans and processes are still uh, aligned with all of that new technology. Can you talk a bit about uh, what kind of sessions you know are there? Of course, this is your baby, so every session is important. But some sessions, some speakers, some presenters that you would you know uh, like to talk about. I'd like to say that this symposium um, is being held in two sessions. The first of which will be focused on SAP. Uh, so this. One day event will focus on disaster recovery mastery for SAP and attendees will have the opportunity to learn about best practices for disaster recovery planning and implementation, as well as tips for ensuring high availability of their SAP environment. Um, and in terms of sessions and presenters within, in that topic, we have uh, a lot of interesting sessions and presenters scheduled for this upcoming session. Um, including disaster recovery strategies for SAP HANA, how to leverage automated multi-target architecture for SAP, high availability and disaster recovery best practices for achieving um, business continuity for SAP on AWS, um, and best practices for disaster recovery for SAP and SAP S4 HANA on Azure. What kind of audience, not that you're expecting, what kind of folks should you know uh, uh, attend these sessions? I think anyone who is running their applications in the cloud is a perfect uh, attendee for this event. Uh, you will walk away with knowledge that you didn't have before, um, gain insights, and just learn from people that have uh, worked in, in the field and know a little bit about disaster recovery, high availability, and protecting your applications in the cloud. Since we are talking this event, we cover SIOS on a regular basis, but it's also a good opportunity to just quickly tell us about you know, SIOS and ex expertise in the high availability market so that folks who are looking at an ending, they do know, you know where they're coming to. SIOS is pretty passionate about high availability and disaster recovery. Um, with over 20 years of experience helping companies protect you know, their essential applications and databases from downtime and disasters. Um, they provide award-winning, reliable, and easy to manage clustering software and expert professional services. Um, they have rightfully earned a reputation as the industry's leading provider of HA and DR protection, um, have over 80,000 licenses installed globally, 
Uh, SIOS provides application-specific intelligence um, and time-saving automation to ensure efficient and reliable failovers uh, while maintaining application best practices. Uh, they also serve a broad range of industries and continue to innovate and provide solutions for the ever-changing IT landscape. How folks can you know, attend or participate in this event and also if those who cannot participate, how they can access the content. Anybody who is interested in attending the SIOS Cloud Availability Symposium can register at the SIOS website. Um, and in the unfortunate event that someone can't attend live, the sessions will be recorded and available for on-demand viewing for registered attendees. Natalia, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about this upcoming event. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure, Swap. Thank you.